Hey everyone, we're back with another video on VLOOKUPs. Uh, right here, we're going to fix a data set, actually use VLOOKUP to add a column of data that was missing from our data set. So here we have a data set with um, invoices from a hardware store. We have the amount of the invoice and the store number, but the data is missing the region of the store. The region of the store can be found based on the first letter of the store number, A, B, or C. That will tell us if it's either east, west, or south. But whoever gave us this data set forgot to pull that in, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of work to map that correctly. So I'm going to create what's called a, a lookup table here to help us do this. So this table is basically a map that says if this is the letter, the first letter of the store number, then this is the region in column O. And we can use VLOOKUP to actually map that, map each letter to its region. But since the letter is hiding within the store number, we're going to have to do a little bit of text magic first. The left formula is a, a text function that just basically pulls a given number of characters out of a string. So in our case, we just want to pull out the first letter or the first character. And down the list, you can see that tells us which letter the first one is. At this point, we can use VLOOKUP to match the letter with the correct region. The first value is E2 that we're going to look up. And then we're going to select our data array. But since we're going to be auto-filling this VLOOKUP down the column, we need to fix these values as they are so that our array does not change. The column we need to access is 2. And range lookup value is false for an exact match. So this VLOOKUP is looking for the letter B. It's looking within the array that we just created, and then looking in column two to see which region matches the letter B. And it's west, which is correct. If we auto fill that down, down the list we have a complete map of every region, which was previously missing from our data set, but now we can actually use it to create a pivot table. Since we use VLOOKUP to map the first letter of the store number to its region, we can now make this pivot table of revenue by region.